Mir back Bekan Tysimov grew up in Chechnya but moved with his mother to Vienna when he was 12 years of age. He was an excellent football or soccer player but discovered mixed martial arts through Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and fell in love, developing his skills at Team MMA Vienna. After a successful win streak, he decided to train in Thailand and once there he bumped into his now coach and hero, Roger Huerta. That partnership is working brilliantly for Tysimov but we really are yet to see the very best from him. He regrets taking his last fight while suffering from an infection, so he's desperate to get back in the octagon and show his true abilities. Yeah, if we look at his UFC debut against Taejun Bang, he, he looks he looked very sharp on the yeah. feet. He was he had great timing with his strikes. I mean, there was one point where where Bang jumped in with a flying knee and uh, and, and Beckham cracked him right on the chin. I mean, a split second reaction time to catch a shot like that, and he landed it really cleanly. So. Uh, this guy's got some skills and, and a good wrestling background. He could keep this fight on the feet and cause, uh, cause Martin Bandel some problems. And, and a very important fact for you, Dan. Beckham, his fight name, is derived from David Beckham because this guy used to wear the number seven shirt and was a little bit tasty at football. So uh, just putting that <laughs> out there. But he, he's, a, he's a truly nice guy. His job used to be to help the kids out uh, on, the, on the streets in Vienna. And he used to save all of his money and then take that to do, go and do his fight camps in Thailand. And, and that money is, is paying dividends in his career. Yeah, and it is worth noting as well that, you know, he's fighting Bandel, who is a, a, a leg lock specialist. But at the same time, we've just seen his, uh, his teammate Tukhogov and he's a Sambo guy. So if anybody's going to be helping him with leg locks, it's going to be his teammate. And that could be a, a, a benefit to having that guy in the team in the training camp next to you. Well, he wants the knockout, but will not avoid any of the fight. There is Meobek Tysimov. So here's our tail of the tape. At 24 years of age, Poland's Marcin Bandel is a younger fighter and stands one inch taller than his opponent. However, Chechnya-born Tysimov steps in with a one inch reach advantage. It's now time to go to our Octagon announcer, Andy Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, next in the Octagon, three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a submission specialist, holding a professional record of 13 wins and two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Lutz, Poland, Marcin Bomber Bandel! Hey! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter with a professional record of 21 wins and 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. From Russia, fighting out of Vienna, Austria, Mayabek. Beckham ties him all. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the Oscar, Mr. Christian Hacklu. So Christian Hacklu is our referee. The lovely Carly showing us that we are getting into round number one. This lightweight contest. Three Ready? fives in that division. Ready? Fight! So fast out the blocks is Mirbek Tysimov. He is wearing the white with blue. Bandel is wearing the red and white shorts. Bandel immediately trying to tie the fight up. Yeah, I don't think there's any secrets given the kind of record that we see from Bandel and his submission prowess, what he's going to look to do. Oh, that lead uppercut. Wow, that was a really big right hand over the top there from Bandel. Catching Tyson up, letting him know that he's got more than just a few joint locks. He's looking for that lead uppercut again, John. You see him leaning forward onto his front leg. Could be faking that to set up the right hand, though. We know that's got power in it. Tyson is very athletic, he's got very few holes in his game. Absolutely loves the sport of mixed martial arts, does it do it for money? Just oh, oh, wow! Two shots! One shot! He's hurt, that's it! The ref no, calls that's it. it, that was a good stoppage. One shot knockout for Mirbek Tysimov. What an emphatic finish by the Chechen fighter. Wow. Showing from the guys from Tiger Muay Thai. 
I'll tell you what, John, that right hand is lightning. That came out of the pocket like nothing else I've ever seen. Bang! Look at that, straight down the pipe. And followed it up and didn't rush with that second shot. Watch as Bandel falls. Beckham steps to the side, looks for a shot, and cracks him one more time. That was a beautiful performance. Arguably, two punches won that fight for him. Very nice. Heavy artillery in the right hand of Mirbek Tysimov. That is a fight finishing punch indeed. Bandel, well, sorry. Doesn't yeah. get much better than that. No, yeah. no. Bandel straight back to his feet and obviously keen to continue, but as you could see, not, uh, not stable on his feet. A great stoppage by the referee. Well, that's uh, going to send some shockwaves, surely, through the lightweight division. This guy is someone to be reckoned with. We see him there celebrating with his corner, Roger Puerta, Mirbek Tysimov. Very close relationship there between the guys. Roger Puerta didn't even tell Tysimov that he was pitching him to the UFC matchmakers. It was a surprise when the contract was presented. And I understand that Tysimov got very emotional indeed. A lovely display from him. Time now to send it back inside the octagon, make it all official with much, Andy guys. Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, referee Christian Hacklew has called a stop to this contest at one minute and one second of the first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mybeck ties them all. So once again, congratulations to Mirbeck Tysumov. A fantastic performance. Congratulations also to his team MMA Vienna and Tiger Mutai. It's time to hear what he's got to say though. He's with the outlaw. Okay, wow, what a start to the night. Two stoppages from the same camp. Did you expect it to be over so quickly? You know, uh, I ex you know, I expect with Martin a long fight for three rounds, but my trainer Roger Huerta prepared me and Zub, you know, and all my Team Benta, you know, to finish the fights, and alhamdulillah, we did it. So tell me about your training in Thailand with Roger Huerta. What, what do you think that's added to your game? I'm not understand again. What, what do you think your training with Roger Huerta in Thailand has added to your mixed martial arts game? You know, uh, Roger Huerta is an amazing trainer, you know. Maybe he can talk better than me. Come, Roger, please. Explain what the game we have all here. A lot of people recognize this guy. Let's give him a round of applause, Roger Huerta. So just to give me a couple of words about these guys and what they're capable of in the gym. Man, they're amazing. Uh, their work ethic is, they're just amazing human beings and they just train really hard and, you know, they deserve to be in here and they, more than anyone, I mean, I, man, that country in Chechnya, those guys are insane. They're, they're tough, they're awesome and I'm telling you, Arby here, man, he's, he needs to be in here too. This guy is unreal. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be wrecking it at 170, uh, 170 pounds. So, But, you know, Marabek, he's just a tough worker. Zub's a tough worker. And, and we, we just, again, we just try to represent here at Tiger Muay Thai and, and Phuket, Thailand. And that's what we do. Team banter. Team banter, baby! Well, that's two wins in the UFC now. You're really setting in. Let's have a look at the replay. That right hand came out of nowhere. It was beautiful. And then you picked that shot to finish the fight. I always like to see that. No rush, no craziness pinpoint accuracy. Tell me if you're happy with that. Uh, I am very happy that I finished the fight, you know, and looking for the big fights here in UFC. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I think you've proved yourself right now. That was a beautiful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Becker! Wonderful stuff there from Mirbek Tysimov. And that team banter is really representative of the spirit that those guys have in the gym. They have so much fun, always joking between one another. It's lovely to see those kind of relationships. And what's great is also to see Tysimov come out fully fit and healthy. He was told not to take his last contest by his coach because he had an infection. But, you know, he really did do very well this evening tonight. And Dan back with us. I was just talking about how good it is to see a fully fit Tysimov returning from some infection and we can see what he's truly capable of now. Yeah, it's a scary guy right there. I know he was disappointed in his UFC debut. I know he felt like he was holding back a little bit. Not tonight though, John. That was a, a lightning right hand. I am going to go and spend some time in Thailand working with those guys. I could learn some things. Absolutely. Well, fantastic stuff there. There is so much more action coming up here.